Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the show. I am your host, Ahmed Al Faramawi. Today is a very, very, very special day. Too special that I said the word three times. Please welcome with me Wu Zhu, also known as the only female emperor of China, with her exceptional intelligence, extraordinary competence in politics, and inordinate ambition. She ruled as the holy and divine emperor of the Second Zhu Dynasty for 15 years. Huan Ying Ni Durong Yu. How did you become the first empress of China? I didn't choose, I got chosen. It became my duty to carry the poor Chinese and fight the greedy aristocrats of the north. When I saw what my spoiled son was doing, I decided to fight to become the first empress and declared myself the empress of the Tan Dynasty. I wasn't chosen for my gender, but for my great abilities in governing. What do you think about the value of women during the time of your reign? During the time of my reign, women were not treated like human beings. They were only a wife, daughter, or mother that had to obey the wishes of closely related men, and that's terrible. Can you tell us about some of your achievements? We the people of China, we are superior to other nations. We are the center of the universe. That is why we expanded to the east. I worked on helping the peasants or the base of our society by improving farming technology and decreasing taxes. I guess I have everything to be called the Great Empress. What do you say to the people who criticize your judgment and call you ignorant and cruel? I used to have many enemies who wanted me that because of my gender. So a woman's got to do what a woman's got to do, and China was in constant threat from barbarian neighbors in the north and east. What do you think about the development of the role of women in society? I think it is a step in the right direction as I believe women's roles in society are very important. And as you know the saying, behind every great man is a capable woman. Thank you Wuju for joining us today. It was a pleasure to have you here. Five seconds, but... <laughs>